Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Transparent Homeschool. Wow, it has been a long time since I have uploaded a video on here. Um, as many of you know, if you've been watching any of my um, last videos, uh, about, I don't know, a month ago, month and a half ago, we finally moved into our new house, and I mean, it took a good long time for us to get everything kind of in like a working order. And so we're probably about 80% finished, which is pretty great. My homeschool room is completely done, and so I can start bringing you guys um, some curriculum videos for the 2020-2021 homeschool year. As you can see, I have laid out here our um, poetry component and then our read-alouds that we're going to do and then what we're going to do for kind of like a, our Bible study, if you will. So let's start with our Bible study. Um, I didn't want anything super formal this year. Um, just because. So I bought the Storybook Bible and the Storybook Bible um, coloring book. And so we are going to do something every day um, as far as like Bible. So we're going to read the story. And that's one day. The next day there's a, um, a really good blog post about like I don't know, an activity, I guess you could say, that goes with each story in this Bible. So we're going to do read the Bible story, do a coloring um, page the next day, do the activity for the story um, on Wednesday, and then on Thursday we're going to do um, one of the devotionals from this. Um, I used this last year, and I love it, and so we're just going to go through it again. So that is what we are doing for Bible. And this is in no particular order as far as read-alouds. Um, this was a little bit frustrating for me this year because last year we decided to do Sunlight, and so all of the books were already chosen for us. Um, but this year I had to kind of go and um, do some research about age-appropriate books and things I think that my son would be interested in. And um, this definitely came up as something all boys should read. And so it is the full collection of the Billy and Blaze series. It's all about a horse who finds, um, I'm sorry, a boy who finds a horse named Blaze. And they have all kinds of fun adventures together. And so um, we are reading these. This is like the whole, like I said, the whole collection here. And then um, Blackie the Crow, The Adventures of Poor Mrs. Quack. I got a whole set of these kinds of Burgess books, um, wow, a few years ago, even before I started homeschooling, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to use these, but they are pretty short, and the chapters are really short as well, and so I'm glad I kept these, because then we can just start reading those. So we're going to read those two, um, and with a lot of these, I chose books that do have movies out. Um, and so we are going to be reading the book and then watching the movie. So I have Babe, A Bear Called Paddington, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, Nate the Great and the Musical Note, Nate the Great, Nim's Island, Pippi Longstocking, Treasure Island. This is, um, it's a short, obviously a shortened version. And so, um, I have the, the unabridged version, but I just think that my kids are a little too young for all of the language, and so um, we went with a younger version of Treasure Island, The Matchlock Gun, McBroom's Wonderful One Acre Farm, The Year of the Baby, The Jungle Book, Owls in the Family, Little Pear, and Henry Huggins, and so that is will be all of the books that we read for our read-alouds. Now, that is not um, kind of our, like, um, in their independent reading. That's something completely different, and I will bring those books out after I um, go with, through these. And so then for our poetry, um, my kids are not huge fans of poetry, and so I didn't want to really push it right now. I want them to to learn to love it, and so um, we're going to do an author study, or a poet study, I guess, this year, um, all on Shel Silverstein. So I, I bought the famous set here, and then I got this one, um, 
And so we're just going to read, I think it was two or three poems um, every night and get through his collection next year. And this way, they're just, I don't know, they're fun little poems. I remember reading them when I was a kid. And so that is what we're going to do for the poetry component. Okay, I am going to go grab our um, independent readers and then I will be right back on. Okay, so I just decided to show you kind of my library, I guess. I'll go into a lot more detail about this in the homeschool tour video, but here is um, all, of, all of the books that I have for our homeschool, um, and I'll kind of, they're all, they're not like picture books or anything. These down here are all nonfiction, and these are broken up into levels. And then here's our phonics set, and then I bought these. Um, I've been kind of on like a, the who, what thing, the books, the ones with the really big heads. I kind of, whenever I see them, I buy like two or three. Um, and so we have a, a nice little collection there so far. And then these are all reference books over here. And then these are um, some more nonfiction um books over there. Here are some phonics reader sets um, of different topics. Uh, nonfiction, like I said, and then these are some other um, readers that I have. So, um, I did a huge haul from The Good and the Beautiful this year. I mean, so, so very large. <laughs> and um, I kind this was before they came out with some new level one, two, and three books, and so I was a little disappointed that I didn't get the newer releases, but I guess maybe I can ask for them for Christmas or something. So this is kind of where they are at the moment, so I have them in order from one, two, and three, and then these books here are part of the history curriculum. I bought the history read aloud set, so I'm not sure about these levels, so we'll see how that goes. But I bought the whole set of the um, beginning books because my daughter is going to fly through those, I think. And then, um, yeah, these are all that we have. We have Mark Lives on Mars, Mole's Hole, The Helping Hunt, Emma's Art, Dax and the Dunes, Lily's Pumpkin. I bought, so the Luke's Adventure and Lily's Pumpkin, I bought the books and the, the card game. The card game is over on my desk. And so we will play that once we read the books. Maze Cake, Best Pals, A Leaf, Stick, and a Stone, Josh Gets a Bird, Seth and Beth, Maria's Many Colors, A Wolf in the Northwood, uh, Baker Bill, the Little House on Stilts, Mr. Apple's Family, Freddie and Linda, Mother Penny, New Boy in School, David, The Flop-Eared Hound, A Yard for John, The Journey of Ching Le, and Sammy. And so those are all of the level one, two, and three books that I bought from The Good and the Beautiful, um, their library. And I am so excited to start my personal collection of the Good and the Beautiful books because if you guys have looked inside of them, they're just gorgeous. And I think my kids are really, really, really going to enjoy it, which is great because they love to read. So then over here, I just have like all of the um, kind of, I guess you could say like the um, mainstream readers that we've collected. Curious George. I mean, all kinds of stuff. What's this one? This is a Nemo. So they like reading those two. So we have one, two, and three. And then here, this is from Usborne, and they have um, a newer version of this with a whole bunch more books. And so, <coughs> excuse me. Again, these are all of our reference books. And so um, we're not going to really, like, formally use them as part of any curriculum, but these are more for just kind of enjoyment reading or um, going through um, books that they're interested in. Again, same thing here. We're not using these for any specific um, curriculum purpose, but they do 
my kids do enjoy pulling these out depending on the topic that they want to read about. Here are the phonics readers, like I had said. Um, the Disney, Disney Princess, uh, Lego, um, Avenger. And then these three here are from the curriculum we used two years ago from Moria, Memoria Press. And um, I kept them because they are a nice collection of readers and they do have really nice stories in them. And so, again, just for my daughter, I think she's really going to enjoy it. We have a Paw Patrol book, um, Cars, Pixar, and another Cars. And then down here, more nonfiction. We just have a bunch of Cat in the Hat ones. Also, this was part of the supplemental reading list for Memoria Press as well. These uh, Gail Gibbon ones up here, and then all of the... Um, Let's Read and Find Out books. Those are also from Memoria Press. But then I just have some other ones kind of sprinkled in there as well. And then lastly, the levels A through F. These are just paper books. Um, I got these from my sister's classroom when she left. And so, um, again, just some more reading that they can do for whatever they need. If they just want to read a book and they don't want to... Um, get one of these up here or anywhere. They can just grab one of these paper ones. So that is everything that I have for our reading curriculum, I guess you could say. Again, these are the in this is more of like the independent reading. And then um, down here, that is all of our read aloud poetry and Bible curriculum. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I will see you in my next video coming shortly. I'm going to start doing a whole bunch more curriculum videos showing you what we're using, and they're pretty subject-specific. So, this one was about our, um, our read-alouds, Bible, and our poetry, and things like that. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a really great day. Bye!